We're going to get some footage of these buildings, guys. They are very moldy. Very, very, very moldy. So I'm not going to be in here very long. This one's not too bad. Neither is this one. But the main office building for like where the soups were and everything, horrible. I've gotten a video of it last year, but it wasn't very good. gotten worse since the last time I was in here. You can hear the moisture in the carpet.
groovy carpet. Someone might be in here, dude. This building's not too bad, a full of mold. It's pretty well. Some kind of meeting room. Not really much in here. All right guys, this is day two of the exploration. I got a brand new memory card, so plenty of space. One of the cranes, so I found something. Me and my buddy found something yesterday that was really cool. It was a pot, well, a couple pots. Actually, I'm gonna have my buddy turn the handle too, because they, they still function. They're right here. I'll tell you what guys, it's so much fun and so better when you actually have permission from the security guard owner. The owner knows me, he's really cool. I do work for him Tuesday and Wednesday sometimes. They're in the process of restoring water to the property and it's a bit of a task because I mean literally all this, the well stuff, it's all from 1940s. And so we're, we're trying to find parts for it. You know, they don't make parts. They haven't made parts in 50 years. So, you know, it is what it is. This looks like it was a rail line of some sort. I actually have a video of this. It was the wagon is what they called it, the wagon train. And it would carry the blocks of aluminum. Well, this is pretty cool. I kind of did a pan, or, uh, far shot, but I don't know. It looks like just obviously some ducting work and probably where they would hook on pots or some sort of buckets. Oh, wow. 
Oh, yeah. This is pretty cool. Wow, all this soot and ash. I think this is the aluminum bauxite. I'm pretty sure that's what all this ash is. Or aluminum bauxite. And there is tons of it here. Oh wow, that's cool. I'm kind of not really doing a lot of the stairs. We've, Me and my buddy did a couple of the stairs. And honestly guys, they are... Eh, some of them are okay, but definitely, um, wow, look at that, the way it just, um, they're pretty, they're pretty sketchy, so, yeah, no. Anyway, I'm going to pick back up here in a second. This is pretty cool, one of the cranes. Check out what's in here. Office of some sorts is what it looks like. I mean, this property is so huge. There's still no way I'll be able to document all of it. Not much going on in here. Pepsi can is old though. Look at that. Hey, cool. Look, another one of those Gatorade things. I mean, it looks pretty nasty, but it's probably not all cracked like the other one. That's just, this is the same building we were in. I just wanted to get a view on this side here. Another crane.
power station. <coughs> That's a part of the property I've never been on, so this is going to be, you guys are touring it with me for the first time as well. Not much to see. I mean, I'm thinking this is probably where they stored a lot of it. I'm not sure, but it doesn't look like any production was done here. Sorry guys, it's pretty dark. I don't know if you can see anything. Not much going on in here. Just paperwork, some old books. So this was the scale room. We found out that's what it was. It was the west scale, building 34C. I think I've, I saw one of those in the other room too. Some interesting graffiti. Reminds me of that sticker that you used to see, the poison sticker. Anyway, I'm not going to film all the way because there's not really much to see. Well, there is a cool, we're, we're head there right now. There's like a cool little street sweeper or not really sure what it is. Got some metal men. If you were here at night, yeah. Not only would it be dangerous and illegal, but uh, it would probably be pretty scary, I'm going to say. I, I don't get scared easily, but yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> a lot of not as strange noises. I've been told there's someone who lives here. Oh, right outside this gate. So this is exactly what it was. This is where they loaded ore and metal onto the trains. So they would have pulled up, open this. The rail car lines are right there. Right? And they would have loaded up and dropped off here. Here's a better view of the rail yard here. Now I've been over here to this building before. I took pictures of it. That's where they unloaded the ore. It does say ore unloading on the sign. But as you can see, the rail yard and some old ducting work just stops. Here's the cool old sweeper. I bet you if you did a few things to this, I bet you it still works. Put some gas in this bad boy. I like it. <clears throat> oh, it was some kind of scraper. That's what it was. All right, we're headed to that office, guys. All this is aluminum bauxite. Just leftover aluminum bauxite which is what makes anode blocks. It's weird walking in it. It feels weird. It's very fine, silty. So here is the obviously ship. I don't know what it was. Some kind of big office. Had like a stove in it, it looks like, at one time. Not much going on in here, but cool hot metal jackets.
bunch of numbers, like a sign. That's about it though. Just the bathrooms. Ew. Yucky. I don't know if it'll focus here. Women's bathroom, some really old video or taping equipment. Anything in here? Bunch of cups. Bunch of paint sticks. Looks like some stuff, some production. Maybe it went down down here. We'll continue this here in a second. Some cool machinery. Here's some more of those stickers. A bunch of them. And they're different kinds too. Oops, that was a little, little, little crazy. office. It's kind of intact except for the broken computer monitor. Pretty cool. This is the very back of the property guys. I've never even been back here. This is where the Washington State Superfund site is. Right over there, I'll kind of get a pan in. This was line seven, so pot line seven. Yeah, super fun sites right over there. Workers, as you can see, working. I think I was in here yesterday, actually. No, maybe not. Well, I guess all the offices look the same.
so much destruction, it's insane. Looks like a holding pen for a pot. Whoa, bird in there. Ooh, nice and moldy. Oh, that is sweet. Too bad it's stuck on there. Uh -huh. Behold, I can't believe it's not butter. Too bad that room's blocked. There's more VHS tapes. I always like to read what's on them. That's cool. Oh well. Can't get them all. Can't read them all. This is the real very, very back part of the property. I'm like, whoa, I didn't even see these buildings. My buddy pointed them out to me. Boilers, maybe, or? It's a lot of power, danger. 4160, 4160 volts. some kind of equipment that they stored in here. Some kind of machine down there. Hopper of some sort, maybe? Offices up here. Not really much to see. Old Folgers can. Someone was partying. Garage door of some sort it must be to replace that one.
This was the sewage treatment facility on site. They weren't allowed to put their sewage in the city sewer line, so they processed their own sewage and had to ship their own cake out. And I'm not going over there. That looks super sketch, but I'll get close. Here's a pretty good building. Looks interesting. We're gonna see what's in it. Pretty much the end of the property, as you can see the fence line there. Welding permit required. Oh, this is the ore building. I know where we're at. I know exactly where we're at. This is where they brought the cars in with the aluminum bauxite ore to fill the towers. There's a sign over here because I took pictures of this last year. That's cool. Way old Dasani bottle. Wow.
That's cool. Just the random weed growing in the middle of the shop. Wow, look at these pits, dude. This is definitely where the pots were. The updated pots, the ones that were built in the 60s. Bags of bauxite ore. 